Okay, so today we're going to take a look at a few shortcut keys. In particular, we're going to look at shortcut keys that only require a single keystroke. I find these very helpful for when you're trying to get work done quickly. So the first three deal with looking at objects. I'm going to bring a couple of objects onto the uh, work plane here. And the first one is how to zoom in. If you use the plus key on your keyboard, you can zoom into your area. If you use the minus key, you can zoom out of your work plane area. And the third key in looking at viewing objects is the F key. F key does this. It fits your objects into view. So for example, if I were zoomed out like this and I hit the F key, it takes all the objects that are there in front of you and puts them into a, a viewable uh, distance. If you clicked on a single object and you hit F, it actually focuses and fits that one single object into view. So either selecting it singly or if you don't select any, it'll just put them all into view. The next three shortcut keys deal with objects themselves. So for example, if I were to click on an object, I could turn it into a hole using other features that you've seen in previous videos, either selecting this uh, tool here or pulling out these objects here. Um, but if I just hit the H key, it actually creates the hole, okay? Just like that. To turn a hole back into a solid, I just type or tap on the S key. Select my object and tap on the S key. And then the third one for viewing objects is to click on the T key, which will give you transparent. Now keep in mind, transparent is not a hole. Here's a hole. And here's transparent. Transparent is a solid that just allows you to see through it while you're working with um, objects that are trying to interact with each other. So you're seeing how they fit together. All right. The next three shortcut keys deal with the, the movement or the use of these objects. And so the first one is D for drop. And you use a D key if you are needing to get objects onto flat onto the work plane. So for example, right now, the cylinder is flat on this work plane, but the others are not. So if I click on the sphere and I tap the D key, it drops it to the ground. Easy way to remember, D is drop. But even objects that are below the work plane, if I hit the D, it puts it right on the work plane, okay? Uh, the next two are align and mirror. These tools are normally available up here, and you've seen some previous videos of mine probably that have that work on the align and mirror view. But if I were to take and select all three of these objects, and I wanted to line them up straight together, I wanted them to line up in a, in a straight line. Um, while I could while I could go up to a line up there, if I just tap the L key, it brings up the align tools. Okay, and then I can go choose which alignment I want to follow. So maybe I want to align them all up at the front like that. It does it, okay? And the second one is mirror. If I take something like this, and I bring it out onto the work plane, so this is just a character piece of hand, and that's a looks like a right hand. If I wanna make a left hand of that, then I would wanna mirror it, and that's the mirror tool. And so the way I can do that is, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna duplicate it, which is Control D. That's just a, another uh, shortcut, but that's not a single key shortcut. And I'm going to move the copy over this way. Now I want to mirror it. I want it to look the opposite way or get a left hand. Then I just type the M key. And what the M key does is it brings up the mirroring tool. And there are different ways I can mirror this thing. I just want to mirror it left to right. So I select that. I click away. And now I have my left and right hands. So there are your shortcut keys. There's one final shortcut key that I'll probably make into an entire video itself, and that's the ruler. And that's a ruler is brought on when you want to find out how, how big something is or how, how um, far something is from something else. Um, so you can use the R key. And what the R key does is it brings the ruler onto the plane. You actually have to click your mouse to register that ruler onto the work plane. So, uh, again, if I tap my R key, it disappears. One more time, R, click, 
and it brings it back back onto the work plane. And what it does, as you can see here, is it gives us some of these basic measurements of the objects that are around it. Okay, I'm going to hit the R key one more time, and we're ready to go. All right, those are the shortcut keys for Tinkercad.